Hello everybody, this is Kiyoshi here and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be reviewing the F-Toys Insect Hunter Beetle and Stag Beetle Hunter Red Japanese Rhinoceros Beetle figure. So without further ado, let's get started. Um, let's take a look at the packaging first. Very vibrant box here. I do like it. It's not really like a blind box. There's five figures from this set. This is the 2022 release. Um, however, it's not really considered a blind box. Um, I would like to teach you guys here. If you guys look at the top, it actually tells you which figure you'll be getting from this black stripe right here. Kono hako no naka ni wa ni kapudomushi aka kahairi de imas, which means with inside of this box, you will have number two, the red um, Japanese beetle in this box yeah so just read maybe it, if you guys can read kanji oh not kanji if you guys can read like hiragana or katakana that will help if you guys don't just look at this number there's number two in here which identifies um which one this figure is so yep yeah, and this is the actual size of the beetle which is really realistic actually i was surprised i am really surprised with the quality this is the first time getting this series and i think I will get more. Yep, and here are all the five figures. This is number one, the black uh, Japanese beetle. This is number two, the red Japanese beetle. And here we have number three, uh, stack beetle, number four, and number five. So corresponding the numbers with whatever shows here. So number two, we got number two. So hope this helps you guys. If you guys are seeing these figures, um, you guys can choose the one you guys want. Um, I wanted the red one the most, so that's why I got this one. But I think um, number four and number five probably going to be very popular because these looks, you know, the horns look super long and super exciting. The reason I chose uh, number two, I would love to have number one as well, but it was sold out. But um, it's because um, in Japan, if you guys grew up in Japan during summertime, um, people go hunt for these beetles and then they take care of them as pet. Usually beetles uh, lives around a month, like a month and a half. Um, I know sometimes if you're really lucky, you can get like two months old beetles. However, once the beetle uh, came out from the lava and then, you know, become a beetle, their lifespan is usually around a month and a month and a half. And usually during school times, um, the school encourages people to catch beetles um, from the wild and just raise them as a way of learning biology, learning insects, learning how to take care of pets, because there are a lot of beetles out there that are not considered uh, indigenous, uh, endangered um, insects. Therefore, you know, even you made some kind of terrible mistakes, it wouldn't harm the uh, environment that much, I, I I'll say. And also these beetles last a month anyway. The reason they, you know, become a beetle is to reproduce. So once they finish their job as for, <laughs> for the reproduction, they usually die. But anyways, yep, uh, and most commonly found beetles in Japan are these two, the red, the red and the black. Um, and beetles in Japan is called Kaputomushi, and they're very, very common. And um, yeah, I think every kid growing up have raised at least one beetle in their life, um, probably a lot more too. But anyways, this is uh, enough background, and here we have the actual product. It's so realistic in reality, and not to mention there is actually articulations, which I did not expect at all. Um, first, is, <laughs> I know if you guys are creepy about insects, I think you guys will hate this particular product, but if you guys are a Beatles fan or have raised Beatles, I think it's, co it's a cool replica. Uh, the size of these Beatles looks realistic as well. It's like, I remember like a real Beatle would be something like this, and um. Yeah, there's a lot of science, a lot of biology and and anatomy going on with these beetles. And raising these beetles as a kid really teaches you a lot of things about nature, about how to take care of pets, starting from the most basic, which is insects. These uh, beetles are really easy to take care. They do not require a specific temperature or any special circumstances. All you got to do is just uh, prepare like, like a box or a uh, keep keeper box um for these beetles um you know and then give him some beddings you can get it from the wild you can get it from pet stores it doesn't matter and then feed him some food um the beetle should last and then like i said they only lives about a month so 
it's not that easy to mess it up. <laughs> yeah, but even if you mess it up, I mean, at least it's a learning curve, right? Anyways, here's the beetle. Um, I know it might look like cockroaches <laughs> sometimes to some people. But um, I, I hate insects too. I, I'm terrified of insects too. But beetles really mean something to the Japanese culture for kids growing up in Japan. I myself is no exception. Every summer, every winter, I do visit Japan with visit my um, family. And um, yep, especially um, I remember the beetle hunting with my older cousins. They all loved it. I did not like it as a kid, but growing up seeing these as toy forms it kind of, kind of reminded me of that terrifying childhood but i'm no longer terrified it just it's cool to have like a replica of that uh in my collection you know i i just really like the quality like i said i probably will end up getting the getting more getting the black version as well yep um uh, kaputomushi here we go and now uh, articulation interestingly there's articulation on the front legs here as you can see it's on a ball joint and then there is articulation on the head um it can do it's on a ball joint as well interesting right and then on the horn there is articulation too it's on a ball joint as well isn't that amazing and just look at the detail i know it's very simple but it's so realistic like you know the eyes the tentacles I know, I know. If you guys hate insects, you're gonna probably hate it. But um, but if you guys are, you know, a Japanese beetle fan, or just beetles fan in general, or have raised beetle before in your life, I think you will like it because you know it really looks like a real beetle. And probably nowadays we don't really keep a real beetle as pet anymore. I know still people do, uh, um, but I don't. But uh, it's good to have a fake one that I don't need to take care of it. But um. I can see it every day. It reminded me of part of my childhood, honestly. But yeah, um, no gripe here. It's a 10 out of 10 for me. I only wish if the beetle can, you know, the wings can open up. We can see the wind inside. I think that will be even better. But this is only like a $6 toy. Like, um, I think, you know, asking too much for all that kind of articulations and and different possibilities. But still, very cool beetle. I would like to recommend it to any beetles lovers or people who are interested in insects in general. I think you guys will have fun with it and like it. Like I said, I probably will end up getting more. Um, and yep, so here is my quick review of the F Toys Insect Counter, Beetle and Stack Beetle Hunter, Red Japanese Rhinoceros Beetle Figure. And thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.